ho, ho. It's Santa here. A very merry Christmas and the happiest New Year. Ho, ho. Hope you survived our crappy intro. Anyway, in this video we are going to prepare barium nitrate for the use in our sparklers. The reaction is very simple, we just have to neutralize barium carbonate with nitric acid. We are going to use our cheap dilute reactor acid from the Ostwald reactor, as the concentration does not matter. Be warned that soluble barium salts are toxic. Also be aware of possible spraying from the carbon dioxide gas that is released. Start by measuring out 10 grams of barium carbonate, as this is generally the most available barium salt. You can of course use other barium salts like barium oxide and hydroxide instead. Transfer the barium carbonate to a beaker, equipped with a magnetic stirrer and add some water to form a dense slurry. Next, we slowly add in dilute nitric acid drop by drop, until the effervescence from the carbon dioxide gas ceases. It really does not matter if you add in too much nitric acid. Just make sure that no barium carbonate remains. Let's check the pH to be sure. If it is neutral or slightly acidic, we're done. We now have a solution of barium nitrate in water. All that's left is to evaporate our solution down to dryness to obtain our crystalline barium nitrate. To speed things up, we transfer our barium nitrate solution into a large evaporating dish and crank the heat up. Barium nitrate will only start to decompose at around 550 degrees centigrade, so we don't have to be particularly careful with heat control. After evaporating the solution, we are left with nice crystalline barium nitrate. We scrape it out from the evaporating dish and transfer it to a bottle for storage. Barium nitrate is a useful oxidizing agent and often used in fireworks and explosives. We are going to make some sparklers with it in our next video. We also plan to make a video on the preparation of iron oxide, suitable for thermite. And for the people that are waiting for the platinum catalyst, we are on it and we hope that we can get a video uploaded before New Year. Don't go away yet. We have one interesting thing to tell you. When neutralizing the barium carbonate, a lot of hydrogen sulfide gas evolved. So there was probably some barium sulfide contamination in our barium carbonate. If we take a look at how barium carbonate is made industrially, it's clear where that impurity is coming from. In the first step, barium sulfate is reduced with graphite to yield barium sulfide. This is then combined with carbon dioxide in an aqueous suspension, which forms the barium carbonate and liberates the hydrogen sulfide gas. In our case, 
barium sulfide and nitric acid forms barium nitrate and hydrogen sulfide gas. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.